Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fimic DIY. Today's project, we are remodeling this stool and I'm doing something a little bit different, so I hope you enjoy it. So I picked up this stool for $7.99 at a thrift store, which is a little bit more than I would normally spend, but I really wanted to remodel a stool, so I spent a little bit more. So for this project, I'm going to be using IOD molds. And they're basically just molds that you can make out of clay and put onto your projects. So I ordered some IOD molds in Renaissance and Keyhole. And then I also picked up the clay that they recommended to use with it called paper clay. And I will link below where I got these. So the first thing I did was just kind of mess around with the clay and the molds to kind of determine which ones I wanted to use on my piece. I knew that I wanted to put two on the legs, one at the bottom, one at the top, and then I also wanted one in the center. So once I figured out the ones I wanted to use, I just took the clay, warmed it up in my hands, and then pressed it into the mold. I will say this clay was a little bit more tricky to work with than normal clay, and I think it really does help to warm it up, but you really kind of have to work to get it pressed into your mold. Once I pulled it out of the mold, I let it sit for a while and created a few more molds before putting it on my piece. But I wanted to get them on my piece before my piece dried because I was going to be molding them and changing the shape. So for these molds, you can use wood glue to attach them to your piece, but I just had some really strong tacky craft glue that I decided to use to put mine on. So I just put a good generous portion of glue underneath the mold, attached it to the legs, making sure that I molded it around the legs so that all of the sides were secured down. Now with my top leg mold, I had a little bit of trouble of that kind of coming apart. So I ended up piecing that together, but in the end, I wanted this to look distressed and worn, so I was okay with the look. I just made sure that I wiped off all of the excess glue. Once I got all my molds on, I let this dry overnight just to give the clay time to harden, the glue time to just completely dry before I did anything else to it. So next I turned my attention to painting. So I removed the seat from the top of my stool. From there, I wanted my IOD molds to have a little bit of a darker texture when I was sanding, so I used some brown acrylic paint and just lightly brushed that onto all of the molds. Now to cover the seat of my stool, I originally tried to remove the fabric, but that was kind of a bad situation. The board wasn't super sturdy. So I decided that I was going to leave the existing fabric on. So to combat that, I'm using two layers of burlap on my stool. So I just picked up some burlap at Hobby Lobby for pretty inexpensively. And I'm just going to trim around the burlap to make sure that I have enough so that I can fold it over on either side. Now I'm going to be attaching the burlap with hot glue. So to start off, I'm gonna do my two longest edges and I'm just going to put a bead of glue and put the two long edges down with hot glue. From there, I'll turn my attention to the corners, making sure I tuck in that burlap gluing it down, and then from there, gluing down the sides. When you're doing this, make sure you don't pull it too tight so that you have like weird bubbling on the side, but you want it tight enough so that it holds in place and it's smooth. For 
for the stool, I wanted it to be a nice white color, so I'm gonna be using two coats of a white chalk paint to paint the stool. Once it had a chance to dry, I'm gonna come back in and give it a little bit of sanding. I'm gonna be using my sanding block, and this is totally personal preference. Just sand as little or as much as you like. I wanted a little bit extra sanding on the legs, so it just kind of stood out and looked a little bit more distressed. I was a little bit hesitant to sand on the IOD molds, and so I thought a better option would be just to add a little bit of that brown paint to the top. So what I did was took just a little bit of paint on that brush, not much at all, and I just wiped it onto the IOD molds. And then I took a wet rag and then just kind of pulled the paint off of where the molds were. That way I didn't get any excess paint, no brush lines, and it just kind of shows through and gives it a little bit of a distressed look. And I did that on all of my IOD molds. My last step was to attach the burlap seat back to my stool. And here's a look at how my stool turned out. I love it and I can't wait to put it in my house. I've had several questions lately about what earrings I'm wearing, my shirts, things like that. I wanna let you know that anything I'm wearing, I will list below in the description box if I have a link to it. So go in the description box if you're interested in something that I'm wearing. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. With the holidays coming up, I have so many fun videos planned and I don't want you to miss out on any of those videos. You will get notified anytime I post. And if you missed our last DIY, I'm gonna link it right here. So just click that video so you can watch that. And I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.